and salutations to YouTube and Tina here. Welcome to a new video. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. I'm here in the city of Anaheim. This is a different Goodwill though that we haven't been to in a hot second. I think this is on Euclid in Anaheim. So check it out if you guys are interested. But if you guys love thrifting, thrift hauls, and vlogs, you guys are in the right spot. Do not forget to subscribe, hit the little bell button to know if I have new videos to go up at me on Instagram. It's Hadrian. Just like it's built here, check out my shop. It's Hadrian.com to see whatever sell from my thrifting adventures. But without further ado, let's get into the store and go check it out. All right, let's go inside. I'm really excited. This is my first time going here this, I think this year? But definitely since the pandemic. The little Halloween section in the front. They're half off toys. Any handbags? <laughs> this looks like a little um, Alexander Wayne bag, but I think it's Forever 21. Here's this cute little Kipling, but the backpack itself is pretty dirty for the messenger bag. $5.99. So it's like a Madewell, but it's pleather. I think it's actually like Target. This is like a long chomp, but this is a fake long chomp. You can see that it doesn't have the diamond pattern in the leather. I always look for that. It's one of the first things to look for. Plus, you don't see or feel the embossing underneath. And also, this this uh, stitching right here should be lighter than the stitching underneath. There's a couple things to look for. If you see one of the, oh, here's another one. Let's see this. This one also is probably a fake, but I'm not sure because I'm not familiar with this style, but it looks kind of sloppy on the inside, so it's probably not real. They got some nail polish. I'm going to get this. I already got this one for my mom before. That's the same color. Mm, I don't know that brand. Yeah, I think they're all the same except for that blue. Let me get this one blue one. I thought those were Valentino for a second. Those are BCBG. Which is Steve Madden, Kathy Jean. Something NY. Furniture stuff. Alright, let's see what we can find back here. Oh, don't want to go the wrong way. Let's see if there's anything cool here. These plates look pretty promising. What are these? Ooh, these are kind of pretty. A little IKEA plates. These have like a cool scalloping. Nicole Miller. Ooh, Nicole Miller home, $2.99 each. Let's see if we can find anything else interesting in this section. Oh my gosh, those bunny plates from Target are everywhere right now. I think they just like unloaded all of their Easter stuff here. There's more right there. Who are these? I think these are also Target. Threshold Melamine Serve Bowl. These are kind of nice. They look almost like stoneware. They're not microwaves. More melamine wear. More of those Easter bunnies. <laughs> All right, glassware. Hello. They have these like decanter things. 
one decanter. Also looking for cool vessels that I can use for propagating plants. But I haven't really seen anything. I've already told you guys before if you watched <laughs> my other videos recently, I'm looking for the um, anything that kind of looks like mad scientist-y. Oh, shiny. I want to look for anything like test tubey or like a beaker or like anything cool like that. But so far, there's a lot of these like real girl like bud faces. Just found a Laker State napkin holder in red, of course, brand new. Kind of cool. It's $15 though. It's a little pricey. I have a bunch of these hand soaps and dish soaps. If mom didn't already buy a bunch, I would get some, but yeah, that's what the good will. Alright guys, we are back in the house and I just wanted to share with you guys what we ended up getting today from the Goodwill. We didn't really get too much stuff and I feel like the heat has been like messing with my brain. Like, I'll be out thrifting but like, I don't know like if it's just like the heat draining my energy. But it has been like, I don't know, something else today because it was literally like, I think that today was the hottest day of the summer um, where I live. So, <sighs> hot. It was like in Orange County, I think the high was like 110. And then here where I live, it's 100 and um, it was 116. And it was just so, so warm. So, uh, but I did get a couple things from this store. Um, I ended up getting this Sally Hans Hansen Insta Dry Matte Nail Polish. Um, which is pretty exciting because my mom and my sister have been wanting like more like bluish nail polishes and this is kind of like glittery and changes color from like blue to purple um and i also got this other one the other day but like i've been coming up on these sally henson nail polishes and this one is like a teal this one is called violet velvet so i don't think that i'll really like that and the other thing that i got i only got one other thing was this Le Creuset napkin holder, brand new, still in the box. The box is a little damaged right here um, where it opens up, but otherwise never been used. Fantastic in red, of course. I feel like red is one of... Red is one of my most found Le Creuset color, like, it, as far as, like, Le Creuset pieces go. I always... If I ever tend, like, if I ever find one, it's usually almost always red. And, yeah, so, um, really cool napkin holder. Uh, these retail, or, like, these resell for about, like, I don't know, I was looking online around, like, $60, $50. So, this was $15. It was a little bit more expensive at Thrift, but, again, it is brand new. I don't know if I'm going to be keeping it, because I don't, like, a red is kind of, like... A bright color for me to use in for my napkins I don't know uh, it's not really like in my color scheme <laughs> right now but I, anything can change um, I might even send it to my family in the Philippines or I'll put it up for sale in the shop whatever but um, those are what I ended up getting from that store again I haven't been to that store at all since the pandemic started and I don't even think I've, I I mean I might have been there once this year like maybe in January or February so but yeah <laughs> still found some really fun stuff so hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to say hi down below in the comments as well let me know what you guys have found recently thrifting or if you've been back thrifting I know a lot of you have also commented letting me know that you still haven't gone back out and you've been living vicariously through me I totally feel the same way because I didn't go thrifting for a while since even after the stores opened up and I was living vicariously through everyone else that was thrifting on Instagram and YouTube so but it's just so much fun to finally be back even though it is a gazillion degrees outside but hope you guys still had fun uh don't forget to check out today's vlog it's up at 2 the new thrifting video goes up tomorrow by early at 7 a.m i love you guys so much i'll see you guys in the next video all right bye